On this today's session, I am Globita, and I am formerly known as G Thoughts. And today, today, ladies and gentlemen, I am giving you my wig whisper Wednesdays. Yes, babies, it is fall, it is back and popping, and the glorious and colors and looks and dimensions on some wig reviews. So before we get started on the wig review, and this segment is called Wig Whisper Wednesdays. I am just going to give you a background of how I began to wear wigs. It's been over 20 years since I've been wearing wigs, and that's half wigs, human hair wigs, synthetic wigs, ponytails, and natural hair. I love it all. Um, the reason why I began to wear wigs almost 20 years ago, and I feel like I'm dating myself. Don't judge me, okay? I'm still young and perky, because they say as you get older, you gracefully taste better like wine, okay? But anyway, how I got started with wearing wigs is that um, back in my 20s, I had got laid off from a big corporate company. And money was tight, okay? Needless to say that I had to move back into my parents. And needless to say, I had to go on job interviews. And because of the fact I had to go on job interviews, I had to look the part. So back in that time, I was used to just getting my hair done and keeping my hair cut and I love short haircuts I mean I love them but everybody knows when you get your haircut that is definitely maintenance okay to keep that look upon you so because I didn't have that money anymore I start wearing wigs wigs give you that look of color and dimension and styles that you can wear and be presentable on the spot or say that you not laid off or you know you do have the money but you can't get your stylist or they're overbooked or it's a holiday or you just don't have it in you to sit for long hours at a shop wigs will save you okay so that's how i basically got started and how we get started doing this formal induction on wigs is so many definitions and there's so many good youtubers out there that i've been watching over the years that it demonstrate to you and just like i'm going to demonstrate to you their different styles and their techniques to their wig whisper critiques and to get a wig to look right on you and say if you're the first time wearing a wig or you're just curious about it go with looks that you would normally get if it was your natural hair if you normally wear your hair short start off with shorter wigs if you're not really versatile with colors then start off with your number one your, your number one B your twos and your fours and then grow gracefully into color now if you're a dramatic and spontaneous and vigorous like me and you like to have a little bit of excitement do the colors do the different hairstyles the world of wigs is your oyster okay it's like a sea of wigs of fairlands <laughs> i mean and some of it can look just like real human hair so what you want to do, especially if they're synthetic, I have a lot of synthetic hair um, wigs because they're reasonable. And you know, and human hair is good. Now we'll give you human hair content with lengths and dimensions and density, and those are a little more pricey. And that's fine. And that that's in your category, we'll deal with you on another YouTube video. But this video is gonna be your budget, good saving between 20 to the $45. With synthetic wigs and I'm gonna give you a lot of brands that I like to use so and usually with synthetic wigs you normally have to pluck them or part them if the wig gap in density appears tight like this unit I have on it's a half wig and it's um, named Annie and I've been wearing this all summer because my natural hair is very thick and coarse like a 4B or 4C texture and it's not heavy and it's not condensed and it, and it breathes in my scalp so you do things that fits the structure of your face and your complexion and what you would like to go with and that's what we're going to have on wig whisper wednesdays different alternatives to fit your lifestyle and then i'm going to show you and come back a what a wig i'm going to bring to you today of how you can wear a short wig and because it's fall we're going to have uh spice it up with some colors 
So I'll be back with you in the next take. I'm going to show you with my wig off. And then I'm going to show you what you can do to style this gorgeous wig. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody, we're back. I am going to show and bring to you today. And this is a classic and goodie that you need to have in your wig collection. Especially if you're starting off with wigs. This one is bought to you by Sensational. And it's the Bunk Wig Collection. Okay? So, everybody can get a close-up in on that. And the color that I'm using is going to be Champagne. So, as you see, I have my wig off. And this is my wig cap. Always wear a wig cap to protect your hair underneath. Because you don't want it to be... Um, dried out and underneath my wig cap my hair is braided in cornrows okay that's gonna be always important so today's gorgeous beauty is sensational the wig bump and this was big a couple of years ago um, when it came out on YouTube and I was one of the people that were reviewing it and I bought these in like three different colors because I mean they're just awesome to have and this is good to everyday go and it's not a lot of fuss because it's a human and this is a human hair wig um, just to let you know and you can curl this wig um, and it always comes with an already 100% uh, human hair it's pre blended colors with a unique style and this is pre styled and saves you time and money and we mix and match for you so it comes in a lot of different colors it comes in autumn champagne and fall leaf is the colors that you can get this in and i am going to put a description link in below where you can purchase this okay so it has no combs in the front okay it has one comb in the back and it has adjustable straps okay and to my right or maybe looking to your left i have a mirror here so i can see what i'm doing um in the camera and we're gonna speed this up a little bit so you don't have to sit here too long while I cut and style this beauty. And these are like one of my favorite wigs of all times to wear. Because I'm telling you when you um in a go, and I don't know how a lot of people I have to be at work at the clock of dawn. So less maintenance and fuss as possible early in the morning is the best strategy for me. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to style this beauty and give you some dimensions and looks of how to wear the wig bump by Sensational. All I'm doing is just taking the tag off and it was giving me some complications y'all. Complications. So I'm going to put this on. I'm trying to get close up in the screen because I need you to get into it. Get into this ladies and gentlemen. Get into this. Okay. This has no parts in this wig so if you're a beginner wig wearer this is going to be perfect for you. Okay. And do you see the pizzazz of this champagne in the front? Okay, that's that's your peekaboo. Hello, I'm here. I'm not too dramatic, but I got style. I got taste. I got class. How you doing? Boo. It's everything. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide this on. Now the wig cap size, I have like an average to medium head shape. My head is not very large, but so if you have a larger head shape or you have thick hair, be careful because this is going to fit snug, okay? And if it fits snug, it may not be a comfortable fit. So this is the wig straight out of the package, okay? Straight out of the package, this is what you're getting. It looks like A.T., Grandma from the grocery store, Deaconess, Usher Board Lady, okay? So what I'm about to show you now is how to style this beauty. Okay, so when you get short wigs like this, and it just has this little leak, limp bump, we're gonna pizzazz it. We're gonna take it from whatever side it may be to your left, we're gonna take it to your right. If it's to your right, we're gonna take it to your left. And this one I'm combing to my left to give it some style and some grace. Okay, because it doesn't look cute with it just being flat like that. And if you do have some curlers or flat irons on his hand, this will be um, a great beneficial to have on hand. Oh, it even has some like some blonde streaks into this. Get into it, okay. I'm getting into it, I'm holding, hold up, hold up. Hold on G family, G thought family, hold up.
Now I hope I'm in angle for you to see what I'm doing. And all I'm doing is just taking it and brushing it the opposite direction. And it's gonna give you style. Quick whisper Wednesdays. They're gonna be like, is that your hair? Baby, yes, if I pay for it, it's mine. Don't worry about the don't worry about the finalities. You do you boo and I'll do me. That's what you tell me. You ain't gonna be embarrassed. Another thing, when you wear wigs, no matter if it's human hair or uh, synthetic hair, if you don't have the confidence to wear it, don't. Because you're going to look and you're going to perform that it's not real. So, that's another thing. And I'm not a big person on combs, so I'm kind of happy because I'm telling you, the combs up here, if it's two here or one at the top, be careful because it will take out your edges. Don't believe the eye. And your wig is not going to fall off your head if it fits snug and true to your head shape size, okay? And if it doesn't, and you have a smaller head than I do, you wanna crisscross your wig straps in the back to give it a little more tighter snug, okay? Because you just don't want those combs pulling out your hair. So this one, I don't know if because of the color, it just really didn't have a bump to it. So I need some curlers. And I didn't get my, I didn't pull my curlers out. But, let me show you when I'm getting fresh out the package with no extra alternatives of bumping it or putting flat irons in it. Okay, I'll give you the back view. so you can see so this is what I'm coming with fresh out the package and just a wig brush okay so this is the front are you getting into it are you getting into it okay this is your side okay side view this is your back and I hope that I got the back pulled down good because I can't see it in the back this is your back view And then I'm gonna get the other side view. Okay. This is straight out the package with no curling, no bumping to this wig. So this is your view of the sensational bump wig champagne. Color is the champagne. Okay. And the next review. Um, I may have a different wig. I am going to have a different wig for you. So you can see how you don't have to really put a lot of maintenance into it. But I love this. This is giving me all kind of pizzazz, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. And just so you can see how if I just comb it in the direction that it came. So you can see how it looks just straight out the package if I didn't do the pizzazz on the side and no curling. See, this is what you will get. Now, this is your style, my baby. Do you, boo, okay? But for me, I can't do this, okay? I look like Deacon Board, Deaconess. I look like, <laughs> I'm anti, yeah, I, Glow can't do this. So, I'm just gonna go back and swerve it back to the side. Give it some definition and some style. Curl that over. Bring it up a little bit at the top. And all I'm using is just a regular wig brush. Get you several wig brushes. Because when you're doing wigs, baby, you're going to need your brushes and your combs. Depending on what type of 
wig that you have. And if you have curly wigs, you don't have to go through this process. But if you're dealing with straight hair, baby, keep you a wig, brush, or comb on hand. Okay, especially if it's synthetic, because you don't want to be out here wrong. You don't want nobody to come tap you on your sister's and shoulder and be like, I'm going to need you to comb them down. Okay, because I, I have helped some people out in the past, okay? You don't want you don't want that. You don't want that means that's not a good look, sis. That's not a good look. You don't want nobody to come tap you on the shoulder and say, you know, your hair is a little, or it's sticking up in the back. You don't want that. Those, those are not kudos, okay? So sis, I just don't like that part right there, but, okay, I'm just redirecting this, fluffing out this little feather bang right here. And this is your look. Next time on Wig Whisper Wednesdays, I'm going to bring to you a nice curly unit, okay? Until then, I will see you ladies and gentlemen later and keep in touch, okay? And if you could, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you like this content of this videos that I'm bringing to you today. I would gladly appreciate it. Until then, be blessed, be happy, and keep your energy and your vibration up, okay? Have a good evening.